Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about recursive pretty diffs. Uh, diff being where you compare different files and uh, you know, <laughs> forget what the differences are. Um, I recently ran into this while working on making a release for PyFlix. And one thing that I usually like to do, PyFlix is a, a Python linter. Uh, one thing that I usually like to do when making a new release is make sure that uh, it hasn't made many changes or any unintentional changes to a bunch of code bases. So what I usually do is clone down a bunch of repositories, you know, look at a bunch of my own repositories, and run PyFlakes against the old version and the new version and make sure the differences make sense. And so let me show you the code that I use to do that, and then we'll get into the actual topic of this, this video. Um, so I have this little PyFlakes update thing that I made and it's just kind of, it's kind of hacky. <laughs> it's a little shell script that um, uninstalls PyFlix, installs an old version, and then installs the latest version from Git. And I actually did a video about this particular approach, so I will try and remember to link that in the description. I might forget that one though. Um, and then I run it against, you know, a few repositories that I know about, like NumPy, Pandas, Flask, as well as all of the repositories, um, all of my own repositories that I've cloned. And it runs this little PyFlakes check script, which basically just you know, has a has a thread pool that runs a bunch of um, a bunch of PyFlakes processes. And so if I run this, e.sh, oh, it's not executable. And we need to make a virtual environment, of course. <laughs> the script is not not the most well put together, but. Uh, runs for a little while and makes uh, a baseline, the old version of the PyFlex output, and then it should make another output for the new version of the, um, the PyFlex logs. And uh, most of these will have nothing in them because uh, they, they didn't have any errors previously and still don't have any errors. Um, let's see, I don't know, PyTests or Talks maybe has some errors, let's see, nope. <laughs> Some of them have errors with exclusion. I guess none of those do. Interesting. NumPy maybe? Nope. Anyway, well, when this finishes, we will use a diff command to show the difference between those. So uh, if, you, if you're not familiar with diff, it is a tool to compare files line by line. Um, and by default, it just takes uh, multiple files and compares them directly. And we will be using the recursive option. There's a dash R option in here somewhere. Dash R. Yes, recursive. So this will uh, traverse through directories. So we're going to compare two different directories, the, the master directory as well as this baseline directory. And we should expect to see everything to be the same between both of them, uh, but that may not be true. Um, I also like to use diff in the unified mode uh, with dash U. So uh, if we do diff uh, echo A and echo b this will produce a diff this is the non-unified mode which i find kind of hard to read um i i like the unified mode which is what you'll see from like git and most patch tools where you'll have a minus for the left hand side and a plus for the right hand side and they're right next to each other instead of like kind of scattered like this um, i find i find this hard to read personally uh, now this is actually another technique that i should probably do another video about we're actually making named pipes and passing those as arguments here. So this is a bash feature, uh, but it's not important for this video. Okay, so now that we've generated everything, we can run diff uh, dash r. Let's just do dash r first so I can show you the non-unified version in a more practical sense. And then um, we'll show the, uh, the diff with, um, with u, which will give us a unified version. Okay, so there's only three differences in this and they're all um, they're all in the baseline. It's again hard to tell because the the less than and greater than is is I find it less useful. Uh, but if we do dash u, it's now going to give us the unified format, and you'll see that we have three lines that were deleted. So from the baseline to the master version, these are no longer errors. Now I find this a little bit hard to read because uh, you know it's 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 not colored. Uh, it doesn't look that nice. Uh, mostly it's not colored, and so I'm going to show you a cool trick that you can do with Git if you have Git installed. 
uh, you can use git diff to, to diff these, even though you're not in a git repository. Um, and if you try and do this without a special argument, it's not going to give you any answer here uh, because we're not in a git repo, and so it doesn't know what to do. Actually, are we in a git repo? Oh, we are in a git repo. Okay, I'm in a git repo, but I haven't cloned anything yet. Um, but what you can do is git diff no, or sorry, I haven't committed anything, and these are not part of the files that are checked in, so they won't be referenced by git diff by default. Uh, but if you pass no index to git diff, it'll now give you a nice colored output of the diff, and it can you know, use whatever git plugins you have to format your diffs nicely. I don't have any special plugins installed, so this is just the, the um, generic normal diff output. But I don't know, I find this a little bit easier to read than, uh, than diff dish you are uh, baseline out master. Yeah, I find this a little bit easier to read. I mean, it has the same information, but I, I like the coloring. <laughs> <laughs> basically um but yeah that's uh it's kind of two ways to do recursive diffs against multiple files in in directories uh you'll note that it only showed files that are different uh you can actually pass i think dash s to uh diff and it'll tell you when files are the same um, but of course it's a little bit noisy and not so helpful here when you're only looking for the differences i don't think that there's an option for yeah, there's no option for that for get diff. I don't actually know what get diff dash s does. Man, get diff dash s. No patch. Suppress diff output. <laughs> so show me the diff, but don't show me the diff, I guess is what I just asked it to do, which is a little bit weird. Uh, but anyway, hopefully this is useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.